Chris Mack from the Shred Shack here at Jack's Live in uh, San Antonio, Texas. I'm about to sit down with I Apollo from Ohio for an interview. 
right before they hit the stage to rock us out. For the sake of our audience at the Shred Shack, uh, let's treat this as an introduction to the band. So give us a brief history of I Apollo. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, pretty much started out as um, Cole and I were in, we were in um, a band called The Nameless Tragedy. And uh, some people dropped off after we went to the recording studio and formed I Apollo. I'm going to change the name from The Nameless Tragedy to I Apollo. And um, after that, those people dropped off and we found these guys. Pretty much. Pretty it. much. Are we guys playing the same type of music with the songs already written? Um, a couple of them. Yeah. yeah we wrote a little bit more at this well, right before we went to the studio. So yeah. Anybody else have anything to contribute to that? Just brief, quick. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and now, what what year were the we guys formed? Um, twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen. So you guys have been around for a couple of years, and you have how many recordings out right now? Um, one for EP. One for EP. Six songs. Okay. Now I have to ask, according to your Facebook page, you guys call yourselves the Millennium Falcon of Metalcore. I got this one. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, is what's the deal? What's that? Alright, so basically what, what that means it? is... I don't got this one. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. I mean, you can see right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a love of ours. I mean, Star Wars is awesome. It's one yes. of our favorites, so... I thought Dude, yes! <laughs> So it has nothing to do with like you guys being underestimated. Like the Millennium Falcon is always a piece of garbage in the background there. We didn't you know, even think about that. So there you go. <laughs> I thought it was a bird. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm just, yeah, we call the Millennium Falcon because uh, we just flap the wings. <laughs> yeah. Check called Mistress.
according to your Facebook page, you guys are based out of North Lewisburg, Ohio. Is that correct? Yep. All right. What is the metal scene like there? Because you know, Ohio. It's just we uh, well, about. North Wall, well, North Lewisburg area, <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> In general. All right. Uh, well, Ohio. Uh, I think it's pretty pumping right now. Yeah. But uh, North of this, where we're from, there's no venues at all. Nothing. Nothing. Columbus. Dayton. Small town. One stop by. Super small. Columbus, Dayton, Dayton, Cincinnati, with the uh, the smaller cities that have. Good venues like Chillicothe, uh, Troy. We've been to a few others. So are there are there other bands out there right now that's uh, playing, or is it just I Apollo? No, just play other bands. We, we made oh, a lot yeah. of friends too, just playing local shows. Cool. Yep. I don't see much bigger on like Dayton, Dayton, Cincy. Like the bigger Cincy, cities. Yeah, Cincy, yeah, Cincy, yeah, bigger. Yeah. Columbus is pretty awesome too. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, as a unit, what would you say are your biggest influences? Should we all pick one? No. Well, why don't we, I was going to say, why don't we just go around the board here? Go all the time. <laughs> well, why just start out a couple? I mean, music wise, I would say like Mazda Flames and The Plot and You. Those are probably the two biggest influences. Definitely Lamb of God. Lamb of God. Yeah. That's what got us. At least us two started. Nice. And Hearts Wake. And Hearts Wake. Die Hearts Murder. North Lane. <laughs> I, start, I started with, <laughs> I started with Sevenfold. Dixie Chicks. Hard rock. <laughs> Drake and Dixie Chicks. Dixie. Stone Traders. <laughs> Justin, anything for you? Uh, traders. Mm. Traders. <laughs> just got the Van Cleef Traders. Just got it. <laughs> Biggest influence. <laughs> so smell. different. It As of yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah. like All right. Tour. You guys just released a six-song EP titled "Stranded." Uh, tell us about the recording process. Oh, we actually did it for about a week and a half. Uh, so we actually left pretty, like a lot sooner than we thought. We thought it was going to be a long process. The guy we worked with, uh, Josh Schroeder, was pretty awesome. Um, it actually went fairly smoothly, though, mm -hmm. for us. Like, we ditched our vocals right before we went, so while we were there, we wrote every single bit of lyrics. So, But all the music was recorded before you, I mean, written before you got in there? Yeah, we got all the tracks that we wanted. We just didn't have any of the lyrics. And, we actually got him, that's how he became vocalist as well. Because we were in the studio and we were all just playing our instruments like we normally would and we were all going to do vocals. Oh, okay. And then we found out that he's actually just amazing. So, <laughs> that's he, awesome. Yeah, Good job, buddy. <laughs> he dished the guitar and yeah, that's what he does.
Um, quick question. I, I used to do uh, recording um, on the side. Um, how do you guys record? Do you guys record live as a band, or do you guys do like track by track? Track by track. Yeah, and the guitar straight in the computer. Okay. Like with an interface, and the drums were out in his garage. Nice. Yep. <laughs> nice. It's always in the the the, uh, the producer's garage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I love that so. All right, you guys just started your April Annihilation tour with Apotheca and Slave by Fear. How did this tour come about? Because seeing that Apotheca is from Houston and Enslaved by Fear is from Oklahoma. Yep. Mm -hmm. So how did that all come about? We have to pay that. for that. Yep. Our manager. Yeah. He manages <laughs> Tim Buckingham. Yeah. He does. Mr. Buckingham. CB Entertainment. He's working hard every day. He's always getting contacts. I mean, he meets new people every day. Nice. Uh, he's the one who reached out to us, so that's why we're here. Exactly. Yeah. That's a good example. Girl. Good example. There he is. Yeah. yeah, sneak in there every once in a while. Yeah. Just go right ahead and say hi. Hey. <laughs> All right, you've played the the first night of the tour was two nights ago in Austin. Mm -hmm. And how did that show go? That was amazing. Oh, yeah. Really? It's so, cool. it's so great. Yeah. It's yeah. like uh, Ruben. Uh, do what? Ruben. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, Ruben, the guitarist of uh, Pond of Burden, Body Stop by. Vince. Uh, Vince. And yeah. Vince. <laughs> Oh um, my! Like, we, we, we've been uh, one of our favorite actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My childhood hero, um, <laughs> and he just happened to work there. It's great. He happened to give us a lot of drinks, so. <laughs> but he did love us. Yeah, he did. He, he, he said he yeah. said that he he's bought like one other band's like album the whole time he was worked there. He's like, so what does that tell you? <laughs> it's Vince from Rat Race and Grind. Rat Race Grind. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not movies. So, no. No. No, it's not that. I just don't know. Yeah, two he's, he's, nah. he's not in that many. He's only in a few, but he's a awesome. few that he's in. Oh, yeah. Poor dude. All right, cool. Bartender, right there. Move on. All right, it looks like um, the next month you're going on the Underground Chaos Tour with Convalescence and My Own Will. So I'm guessing that came about through Tim yep. as well. Yeah. Is that the same kind of music as well? Yeah. 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 Convalescence is from Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. Convalescence actually helped us. Helped us. Yeah, yeah. Keith did. Yeah. Keith from the Legend Agency. Yeah, Keith from Convalescence actually helped well, book us this tour. So. Uh, where's that tour going? That one's uh, going around Ohio, the Boring States. Oh, okay. Because it's Nashville, too. Nashville, Nashville, Nashville yeah. also. Awesome. And the one that's not announced as well, which they go out in August, is... I set my friends, friends on fire. On fire. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, East Coast. Oh, yeah. all right. Where are you guys playing? Florida. Florida? Florida. Florida. Miami. New York. New York. Okay. Where in New York? Curious. I'm from New York, so I'm just uh, and then uh, Buffalo, Buffalo, all up north. Okay, is, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Long Island. That's a little north, yeah. <laughs> even for me. All right. Speaking short term and long term, what does the future hold for I Apollo? Uh, lots of shows. Lots of shows. Meeting. Continuing to promote. Continuing to promote. Reaching out further, going <laughs> further places. Uh, it seems like you guys are pretty much booked up for the, like the next like, couple yeah. of months. So that's really awesome. Once once we get all this stuff settled, we're gonna probably get together and just bang out this like full length, and we're gonna actually put a lot of time into it. Make sure it's awesome. Are you guys uh, writing stuff already now, yes. or because so, you're on the road? I mean, this, what else are you gonna do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's kind of what we're trying to do here because we, we, you know, we just have it for fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so. Everybody please check out everyone's 
right, so what we do at the end of most of our interviews is we do a lightning round where we just kind of throw a couple quick questions at you, and I'm just going to go down the line and go like that. All right, we're going to start here and work that way. All right, so boxers or briefs? Uh, boxers. <laughs> boxers. Briefs. Boxer briefs. Box? <laughs> Chicken or steak? Steak. Steak all day. Uh, Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Black Sabbath, do you prefer Dio or Ozzy? Oh. 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 Come on, man. Ozzy. Thanks. Prince of Darkness. Say Ozzy. 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 Sorry, sorry, Dio. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. <laughs> I grant you that. All right, who would win in an arm wrestling match, Lemmy or God? Lemmy is God. Lemmy is, is God. Excellent, excellent. All right, sum up Metallica's last fifteen years in three words, three words or less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. That's mine. <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> he said yeah, so I think we got his answer. <laughs> Three words or less. Metallica, last Ooh. 15 years. <laughs> Needs to quit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're old. They're Super on. success. Yeah. Miss. Miss. Follow <laughs> your dreams. <laughs> Keep going. Just um, do it. Oh, just. <laughs> we're going to cut it right there. Yep. No. Last question here. If your band were stranded on a desert island, which member would be eaten first? Quentin. 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 Oh, wow. Actually, wait, 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 we've got to think of this. He's got the chicken legs. Most meat. None of y'all. <laughs> Look at me. How about, how about Justin? Most because he's the meat. shit out of Andrew. Justin, because he's the first to get pissed off. I'm the only one who can cook. Shit. Oh, burn. <laughs> yeah, that's Quentin. It's Quentin. I disagree. <laughs> Quentin. Well, that was it. I want to thank you guys very much for uh, sitting down with us and having a chat. Uh,